We need to go to the root of our problems socially. And that is there must be a healing of the family and a healing of the nation. Would you agree? But we've also come to voice extreme displeasure with the fact that same-sex marriage advocates have attempted to steal the right of the people to vote in the name of civil rights. You're stealing others' civil rights. From Sacramento, California to Boston, Massachusetts, all points in between. Runaway legislatures, overreaching judges have violated the spirit of the Constitution and have betrayed the very heart of the American culture. And it's not going to work. It's not going to stand. And the people are going to get a chance to vote on marriage in this cycle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to happen. We're going to win. Time and time again, these out-of-control radicals go back to the dusty pages of the Constitution and our documents, and somehow in fine print, they find a right for same-sex marriage. Honey, it's not in there. It's never been written in the Constitution. There's a redefinition and even a destruction of that which we believe is sacred in terms of the framing of the very rights of our nation. And so where we are at this particular point is that new rights and new benefits are going to be attempted to be written in, but we're not going to listen to all the noise on the side and on the background. Hallelujah. Come on, it's my turn to talk. You get your own microphone. Hallelujah. What, what is happening is a minority, just like we're hearing now, is attempting to impose its will on the majority. Never mind sobriety, never mind what you would call just common decency or courtesy. Never mind what's right and just. Whatever way they can get in, that's what they want to do. And I'm here to tell you that this kind of injustice is not going to be tolerated. It's not going to be tolerated. What we're experiencing is injustice American style. A privileged minority with a whole lot of money and a whole lot of sway is basically saying to the rest of us, you sit down, shut up, you know, opinion doesn't count. It's just not true. Are you with me out there? I got to tell you a little story. In 1954, a young black man was in a southern state. A state trooper threatened him at gunpoint because he had been involved in voter registration and trying to secure the rights of African Americans to vote. And the state trooper discharged his weapon right over his ear, temporarily deafening that guy. The young man got up, ran to his home, packed up his family, and moved north. That gentleman I just described was my own father. And all the rest of his life, he spent time working as a volunteer in numerous campaigns. I believe that where we are today is we're in the same situation that a minority is imposing its will, they're willing to threaten us, they're willing to talk down to us, they're trying to intimidate us, and I'm here to tell you, do not be intimidated. Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! They are going to tell you that their side is going to win. They're going to say that it's inevitable that their side gets what they want. I'm here to tell you that all they're doing is acting like the bullies that I grew up with in the ghetto. You know what I'm talking about. The bully comes, he shoves you, he pushes you, he tells you, you might as well give up now, you give up your money, I got you, I got you. No, you don't have me. I'm going to stand for what's right. We're going to overcome. We're going to take this battle all the way to the Supreme Court, and we are going to win. Oh, yes. We are going to win. Oh, 
Well, yeah, what we got to do, let me make this real plain, I'm going to get out of the way. What we got to do now is we got to deal with the fact that my same-sex marriage proponents have manipulated the political process. They have intimidated, they paid off, they've given all kinds of money to all these candidates. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to kick some folk out of office. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, we're going to have to play musical chairs in here and snatch some chairs out from under some politicians and let them know there are consequences to immoral, corrupt action. Let the people vote. 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 I got one last thing to tell you, then I want to sit down. I appreciate your heart. I appreciate the fact that you've come out here on a day like today. The rain would have kept us back. The inconvenience if you went to church or any other activities this morning of coming down. I applaud you for coming forth. But you've come as a remnant, meaning you represent all the people that believe in traditional marriage all around this region. And your opponents will try to say, well, it's not enough for you. Come on. They've got a vested interest. Yeah, they're coming out. Yeah, they're trying to shout us down. If they weren't afraid of you, they would ignore you. their presence confirms their fear and it ought to energize you you got to stand up now you got to stand up and be counted we got to raise money we got to vote in candidates we got to make a difference in the next 18 months if you and I do what we're supposed to do the people of Washington DC will get a right to vote Books like Heather Has Two Mommies will not be in the school systems all over the country. And freedom will ring. I close with the words of Martin Luther King Jr. Let freedom ring. I'll say it this way. Let freedom ring from Sacramento, California to the hallowed halls of the courts in Boston, Massachusetts. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring in Washington, D.C. Let freedom ring in Maine. Let freedom ring everywhere where people believe that marriage is an institution to be honored and to be cherished. Let freedom ring to the high mountains of this nation, to the low valleys and the places in between. Let freedom ring as we go to the polls this fall and let our voices be heard. God bless you.